Otto Hightower has been missing ever since Aegon fired him from his position as Hand of the King, but he returns with a twist in the Season 2 final. He's locked in a dungeon. As it stands, there's no telling exactly where he is or when this happened, since all we see is the cell and this isn't taken from the pages of Fire and Blood. However, there are some standout possibilities. Perhaps the most likely option is that Otto is locked in one of the Red Keep cells. Certainly, it looks similar, and as these are the cells we've seen on screen across both shows more than any other, then it'd be the easiest way to clue audiences into their location. It's also very plausible how it happened, too. Larry's strong. Larry's was told by Aemond to send for Otto, as he wanted him to return his hand. Larry's was clearly slighted by that, with Aemon calling him a toad in the process, and would see Otto as a clear threat to his own bid for power and attempts to manipulate things to his own end. He would also certainly have the means to have someone, even Otto, locked up in a dungeon. It does seem like someone is coming to visit Otto at the end, based on what appears to be a torchlight and him looking up. This could just be whoever is in charge of ensuring he is given food and drink to keep him alive. But if it's a known character, then perhaps someone like Grand Maester Orwell, who is loyal to Alicent and thus Otto. If Otto isn't in the Red Keep, then there aren't a lot of obvious contenders, but Otto just being any one of a number of houses loyal to Rhaenyra. One such possibility is House Beesbury, which is said to be in revolt for Lord Beesbury's death at the hands of Sir Criston Cole. Their seat, Honeyhold, is on the way to Old Town, so that's plausible in terms of location and motive, but does still feel a little more random than having it be King's Landing and Larry's.